The first Deborah Knott book was Bootlegger's Daughter. And I knew from the beginning that she was going to be a series character. This is why I gave her a farming background. I also let her go off the tracks a little bit in the beginning. I knew that I was going to bring in all this stuff about the family. The murder mysteries usually will illustrate a facet of North Carolina life, but my readers seem to love her family almost as much as she does. So I gave Deborah characters that I had known and that I had grown up with that were so genuine and so real and at times so funny. I love the malaprops that some of the old farmers used to use. I love the language, the double negatives. So I gave them to Deborah. Christmas morning is about Christmas, what Christmas is like in Colleton County. It is a murder mystery. The mystery is why did a pretty, bright, intelligent cheerleader run off a straight stretch of road, flip her car, and kill herself? But winding through all of that are the Christmas celebrations. Some of the things that I show Deborah doing in Christmas morning are things that I grew up doing myself and things that I still do. The cookie making, the nuts, the mistletoe, cutting down your own tree. These are all things that I grew up with and they are things that I wanted to show Deborah enjoying too. What does the future hold for Deborah? For one thing, she's going to finally get a honeymoon with Dwight. They're going to New York. But in her personal life, she's coming to terms with marriage. She's coming to terms with being a stepmother. So these are very much going to affect what happens in the next few books.